What's going on guys? Ben Glugana here coming back at you with another video today. Back on Madden NFL 18 49ers franchise. We are 7 and 1 and I'm telling you I'm not playing some of these games. I'm just not going to do it. What we're going to do is simulate a little bit further, not quite to the playoffs. And we still got to figure out this running back situation because I like the whole running back by committee sort of deals. We dropped to 7 and 2. We're going to simulate against the Cardinals. And uh, we're going to drop to 7-3 and three now. Interesting. We got to beat the 6-4 and four Rams. I'm not playing the game. Come on. 7-4. and four. We have dropped to third place in the division. Surely we're going to beat the Cardinals. Surely. We've dropped to seven and five. We have lost four games in a row. Most of which have not been close. Close game against the Lions. We got crushed. That Seahawks game is going to be important. We got to play the Giants at week 14. My favorite team, the New York Giants, against my team now. The San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to upgrade the team. And we're going to face this New York Giants squad. It's a good team. I don't know how we're getting crushed. It's very sad. Also, everyone's requesting it to be turned up. I'm turning up QB accuracy to a 41 from a 39. Uh, considering Joey Lockler's throwing stats, he shouldn't be missing as often as he does. So, I mean, they're, they're 90s at this point. So... Just up 2 to a 41. Still way below the 50, but we're not, not way. Anyway, I'm going to continue to upgrade, and then we're going to face the Giants. We need to win. Like, our playoff dreams are slipping away very, very quickly. All right, team has been upgraded. I would say nothing really notable. We have a very mixed bag of what people want with the running back position. Some people want Joey Cummings to start. Some people want Walter Wiley to start. Some people want Marcus Wiley to start. Some people want Joey Cummings to turn into a wide receiver. He doesn't have any capable traits or abilities uh, to make him a receiver. Just doesn't. Poor route running, no catching. Um, I mean, he's no catch in traffic, no spectacular catch. He's just not a good receiver. It can't work. If we go to Walter Wiley. All right, he is. he's interesting. He has keep feet and bounce. He's a little bit better as a re receiver than Joey Cummings might be. 64 catching, 72 route running. Uh, 65 catch in traffic, 72 spectacular catch. He's a better running or receiver than Joey Cummings would be. And then we have Marcus Wiley, um, who is just a pure running back with decent all-around traits uh, or abilities, I should say, as a running back. But, you know, for catching, I don't see these as, you know, receiver uh, abilities as far as, you know, he would translate to the passing game. I think he's a running back. We're going to give Walter Wiley the start. And we're going to make Joey Cummings the official third down running back. And I guess use Marcus in goal line situations and when Walter gets tired. It's going to be a very, very interesting group of players. Again, running back by committee. It's, it's an interesting group. But uh, let's go ahead. We have to beat the Giants today. Can't fuck around. You know, no bones about it. We're 93 overall, and we've lost four in a row. We are throwing away our trip to the playoffs, potentially down the drain. Can't happen. Ten minutes on the clock here in the first quarter. We're going to be kicking off with Brandon McManus. Odell Beckham Jr. back to return. He's going to take it out. And spinning. Can we bring him down? Somebody. Finally brings Odell down at the 28-yard line. I believe that was Kyle Juszczyk. Who is our quarterback? Durand? Oh, what a tackle, by the way. Dawson Henderson takes down Charles Sims. What is this Giants team, by the way? <laughs> Are there any recognizable players other than Odell Beckham Jr.? Ryan Switzer, maybe? Evan Ingram, Sterling Shepard still here. Looks like Western Richburg still on the line. And that's a sack. Dawson Henderson showing out on the first drive. Awesome stuff there. 
Here's Joey Cummings returning. There's a spin move. He's going to cut back inside. Joey Cummings has the outside. Burn past him. There's a block on the outside. The six foot eight punter can't get to us. Joey Cummings, punt return touchdown. That's his second kick return touchdown this season. And we're going to go up 7 0. That's got to be a pick. That's good defense, though. Perry Curry on Odell Beckham Jr. I don't know how that matchup got into place, but he played it well. Oh, that's got to be a huge hit over the top. Keanu Neal lays it down. Somehow, ship holds on. I have no idea. We got to learn some of these first names so it don't sound like a buffoon. Stanley Durand and uh, Antonio Ship, also Roy McDonald. We're going to call him Ronald. All right, here we are coming out in somewhat of a jumbo set. Here's play action. And Reuben Foster beats his man. And there he is on the sideline. And hold on, I'm getting a message from the producer. Seems like we have made an error. Reuben Foster did not beat his man. He beat his woman. Uh, Jim, come on, Jim. <laughs> That's absolutely uncalled. E absolutely egregious. And t of you of all people, we, you, we know you have your demons. <sighs> Deplore. He has no place in Madden. He's a perfectly nice player on the field. All right. Deplorable. Did I give the start to Marcus? Because that's Marcus in the game right now. I don't know where Walter is. I could have sworn I gave him the start. I guess I didn't. But we're going to deal with a third down and four. Joey Cummings comes into the game. He's actually a pretty low overall. As a third down back. I don't really like this setup. We're going to run it anyway. Just see what we can do. It looks like a blitz coming off the side. Joey is going to take off. Joey Lockler evades Alec Ogletree. Gets a first down. Wow, that's crazy. The Giants actually have Alec Ogletree. That's wild. Because this is like four years in the future. And they did not make that trade in, uh, in the franchise. All right. Walter Wiley in the game. Now we're going to hand him off the ball. And look for some space. Spinning back, breaking a tackle. There was some room to work with. We just a little bit too fast. And uh, couldn't really control him there. Another third down. This is third down and two. Lockler looking for a receiver. Find one. It's Dante Buchanan. Who he finds. Giants think it's all incomplete. Open your eyes. You're out. What are you doing, 86? Came off the sidelines trying to attack Dante Buchanan. What a maniac. First and 10. That's going to be Devontae Parker all day. Threw that ball a little early. A little early on the on the pass. Definitely. Because he would have been wide open. A little bit slow of a route. I thought that route was going to develop a little bit earlier. And that's wide open across the middle. It's Sanchez Heaney. We're going to set up the spin move to the juke. Burn past him. Sanchez Heaney. End zone. Touchdown. And we're going to go ahead even further. On the electric run as Joey Lockler gets his 25th career touchdown pass in just his 14th game. 13th? I don't. What week is it? In reality, and like it should be at this point in the franchise, uh, this is year four, and there are just not a lot of teams who are on our level of performance. They're just they're just not as good. So when you're going up against a team like the Giants, as Tavares Buckner picks up a sack with just Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, and then Evan Ingram's pretty good. Sterling Shepard's pretty good. But their quarterback is young and not very talented. Their offensive line is terrible. Ryan Switzer's out there playing a lot. I mean, what are they going to be able to do against a top team in the league in the 49ers? Especially overall-wise, especially. I mean, this team is very, very good at this point. And there, there's just not much the Giants can do. This is why we've been playing so well against a lot of these teams. Is we're just way better. They're going to punt again to close out the first quarter here. Strickland is the punter. Already given up one touchdown today. Here's Joey Cummings. He's going to have an excellent shot at returning this. Couple of good blockers as well who didn't do anything. Joey Cummings is going to juke. Get out of the way. Keanu Neal is so bad on special teams. It's unbelievable. 
just get out of the way. That's maybe like, that's a lot of yardage. Just right in the way. We're gonna streak Buchanan. We're gonna streak Heaney. We've got speed up the seam. We'll beat him. One safety. Oh, that's a blitz. Not even. It's Olivier Vernon just destroyed our left tackle there. I think that's VJ Poole. That's the end of the first quarter. Lockler rolls out. Sends someone upfield. Throws it. Perfect pass. George Kittle first down. Talk about a touch pass. That was a dangerous throw. <laughs> Four for five. 101 yards. The only incompletion was my fault. Joey Lockler is out here balling. We're going to send uh, Walter Wiley on a wheel. That route is not going to mesh well with Devontae Parker, I don't think. We're going to roll out. Damon Harrison is obscenely slow, and we're going to throw that ball. Sanchez Heaney for the first down. Third and 23. We're not giving up that easy. Here we go. And, I mean, there's just OV with his third sack. Looking for anything downfield and just didn't find it. We're going to be forced to punt. But we've got one of the best defenses in the NFL. If not the best. The Giants can't do anything. Okay, I spoke too soon. Ken O'Neill wraps up just before the first down marker. It's going to be third and one, third and inches, something like that. Third and one. We're going to send Heat in a man blitz off that right edge. Let's go ahead and figure it out here. I want to get on Ruben Foster. That's that's on the run. Oh my goodness, somebody tackle him. I think it's Willis Burdine who ends up doing it. Not before Charles Sims got the first down. Giants are moving. It's another run. There we are, Ruben Foster. Absolutely nowhere to go for Manningham. Oh, it's a screen. Was not ready for that. Get the edge, get the edge, get the edge. Hold it. There we go. Stayed put with Quan Alexander. Didn't let him get back inside. Now it's third and eight. Just got to hold him from getting the first down. That was a great screen call. We just played that pretty well. About as well as we could have. And Dre Prelo's in the game now. For the tired Ruben Foster. Might have to permanently replace him coming up. And there he is. Picking up a very critical tackle to stop the first down. Looked like there might have been a hold anyway. That would have negated the first down. And there it was. Should be on the offense. And it most certainly is. Bobby Hart. So we're going to go ahead and decline that penalty, forcing a fourth and three and a punt again. All right, we are still trying to put some points up on the board. We're going to roll out with Lockler and just dump it down. That's going to be the running back, Walter Wiley. He goes for the hurdle and gets it. Look at Walter Wiley adding to his highlight reel. What a play. And if I'm not, is he a rookie? Walter, My Walter Wiley might be a rookie. I don't think Marcus is. Shit, he might be. We're going to try another swing here. Hopefully this is open. It's going to Walter. And the blocking is there. That's Walter Wiley on the outside. He's going to juke back in. Picks up another decent gain. This time it's counted as a catch. First and 10. We got one-on-one -on, -one on that right side. I think that's Jack Rabbit versus Dante Buchanan. Oh, and he's burned him. He's burned him. Dante Buchanan touchdown. Janoris Jenkins is no match. Oh, what are you doing, Dante? As Joey Lockler has tied the record for rookie passing touchdowns. What was that from Dante Buchanan at the end? That is not allowed. He pushes Janoris Jenkins back down as he's lying on the ground. Let's take a second look. I don't know if that's going to be in there. It is. Look at that. What is that? What is that? The absolute disrespect. And then he stunts on him with his ball sack in the face of Janoris Jenkins. What an absolute savage, dude. Oh, that's wide open. That's wide open. Keanu Neal can't wrap up. Cox in pursuit. The doctor gets him. Perry Cox. And uh, our safety there as well. Perry Curry. I guess one half of the Perry's in, in the secondary. Brings him down as well. He was there. Giants are threatening, though. Now finally inside the red zone. We're going to have to shut it down. That's a run. That's a draw. Someone get on it. Big hit from Derek Winfield. Still a pretty big gain anyway. Six yards. All right. First and goal from the three. We can still shut this down. We're going to pinch that defensive line. Throw it quick. That's a slant over the middle. Tried to take two routes away. Couldn't do it. And Giants are on the board. 
This will not be a shutout. If we have time, something's going to get open. I don't know if we're going to have time. We evade one. That's going to be wide open. It's Dante Buchanan. Spin back. Gets around Jackrabbit. Pick up the block on Landon Collins. What a play by Walter Wiley. What a play. We're going to call a timeout as well. That cannot be overstated, though. We're going to go ahead and take a second look. That block was incredible. 63 yards to Dante Buchanan, but let's go ahead and watch Walter Wiley on the play. He came out here. He was on the wheel. Took away Janoris Jenkins. Called for the ball, too. Uh, leaving Alec Ogletree in the flat. Was that Kelvin Shepard? Nah, it's some rookie. I can't even read his name. Um, leaving Dante Buchanan wide open. And let's go ahead, see him burn past Janoris Jenkins with that spin move. And look at Walter Wiley come back into the play. He's quickly becoming one of my favorite players in this series. You look at Dante Buchanan, he's probably my favorite. But look at Walter Wiley coming back and making some of this play happen. Taking the best player on the Giants defense, arguably, out of the play. And what a big play it was. Landon Collins almost certainly would have broke down on that. But Walter Wiley takes him completely out of the play for Dante Buchanan to get a ton of more yardage. Obviously didn't have the speed to close it. Didn't have the energy is what it comes down to. As he is certainly off the field for this play. But what a play all around. That was great stuff. I'm going to see if, uh, if Marcus can be a touchdown vulture here. And we have some space up the middle. Tackle down to the four. We're going to move into the hurry up. Two timeouts left. We're going to run the same exact play. Run the inside zone. See if Marcus can punch it into the end zone. Up the middle. Can't do it. Timeout. All right. Dante Buchanan actually back out of the field. So is Joey Cummings on third and goal. Who do we go to? It's got to be... I hate when that happens. Dante Buchanan open in the end zone. Throw the ball. And he runs away trying to get open. Quarterback and wide receiver obviously not on the same page there with Joey Lockler and Dante Buchanan. Obviously Joey Lockler's favorite target. But we're going to go up 24-7 to before the half. Very, very good lead here. Should be able to hold on. Right, we're back for third quarter action. There's another Dances with Wolves kicker out here. As Dante Buchanan will return this kick. And we are absolutely going to return it as we spin. And uh, it's a decent return. Nothing crazy. Probably going to have a run-focused attack here in this second half. We are playing with a pretty sizable lead. And Walter Wiley trying to extend that big gain for him. All right, second and 10. We could have him burned over the top. I might I might go ahead and send Dante Buchanan deep up the seam. Rolling out. It, it just didn't really develop. But that did. That's open. OJ Howard, and it's overthrown by Joey Lockler. Third and 10. Here's play action on third and 10. Looking for a receiver. Trying to find one. Not really finding any. We're going to throw that ball. It's underthrown. Alec Ogletree is going to intercept Joey Lockler. It was not a good decision to throw the ball. Uh, but what I wanted to do was further lead O.J. Howard down the field. And he just didn't. Because the game doesn't work like that somehow. And there's another sack. Sack fumble. Picked up by Roth. IRA. I don't know what his name is. Solomon Thomas picks up the sack. And then, uh, I don't know, is there a tackle for loss credited there as well? I don't know who got it. Second and 19. We should send some more blitzes, but pressure's kind of getting there. And that is a great tackle by big 69, Jamar Wiggins. Third and 17. He's going to have a pretty good shot here. They, like, they just, he just doesn't block who he needs to. I guess he was the design. That was a... Did I flip it somehow? That was a weird play. I don't really know what just happened. We lost three yards, so no bueno. But that is open. It's going to be Devontae Park. We find him this time for the first down. Walter Wiley's wide open in the flat. Got to make something happen here. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's a spin move, and there's a speed from Walter Wiley down the sideline. Finally stopped at the 28. Alec Ogletree brings him down. We're cooking now. All right, we're getting this moving. Walter Wiley showing out. Might look for OJ Howard over the top. Someone complained that he just doesn't get involved enough. And it's like, I try to find him. 
but he just he doesn't really get open and I roll out a lot and it's actually gonna pay off here Joey Lockler we're just gonna avoid the hit take the decent gain third and two Walter Wiley in the game on the power and he's still up 10 yard gain all right looking for somebody to get open pressures coming from the back it's Olivier Vernon he has four sacks that's too many that's too many sacks. That's mine. User pick easy reads. The Lorax, Ruben Foster. Who is that? Who is 35? Charles Sims brings me down. Ruben Foster. Fifth interception. I, I can't think of a joke, but he, uh, he beat his wife or girlfriend, hit her eight or nine times in the head, which is not funny. But it happened. What's open here? I'm gonna throw that ball. That's uh, that's not where I wanted it at all. And Devon Kennard gets an interception. That's just, I mean, you guys could see. It's just not where I wanted the ball. Underthrown per usual. That's just, it's a game mechanic. We cannot let him escape the pocket. How does he not fumble? Ruben Foster is the hardest hitting player on this field. All right. I know that for a fact, and I know I know one lucky lady, maybe not so lucky lady, who can attest to that. That's not a that's not an appropriate joke. Giants are gonna need to really make a push here. Down by 20. Not that much time left. That's a pretty good start there. Manningham to the flats. Gain of three. Yeah. Haven't really gotten that much with anybody else. And by that much, I mean we have not had one. That's gonna be Drake Prelo with the user pick. Easy reads. Green Eggs and Ham and Dre Prelo is off to the races. Where is Willis Burdon going? I will never know. But Prelo with the touchdown. There you go. Dre Prelo filling in. Ruben Foster gets a pick six. 34 to 7. Oh, Joey Cummings up the middle and he's gone. That is most certainly the dagger. Oh my goodness, he's stunned on him the whole way. I know, I know it's me. I control it. It's me. I do it. 53 yards to the house for Joey Cummings. Who comes in here and he's like, yo, I'm the starting running back. He goes, I am the captain now. And we're like, you're not. You're like the third string running back who comes in on third downs occasionally. And you're really good at returning punts. And that's kind of it for right now. I am the captain now. We're like, you're not. Calm down, Joey. He's like, watch. And he goes, runs for a 51 yard touchdown to end the game, basically, in garbage time. And it's like, is that good? It's like, yeah. It can't. It's not bad. But it's not like amazing. Ama wow, amazing. You know? Oh, that's going to be open. Cox is coming back for it. And it, it locked me into an anime. Well, kind of. I just couldn't move. I went for uh, went for the tackle and he just did he didn't go for it. 41-14 looks like it might be your final. All right, Dante Buchanan, you got pretty much one last chance to uh, do something here, and then we're going to see why does it stop me there? And I I hate to come out here and complain, and that's what I say to make it look like I hate to. I don't. I fucking love complaining. You guys know it if you watch my videos by now. But like, I don't complain without reason. Return it with Dante Buchanan. Make the spin. And we got some room to the outside. Fucking watch this bullshit. Running and then boom. What is that? Why is that a thing that happens? Oh, he's like, oh, I might get the angle on you, but you should tackle me here. Let me just slow down so you can tackle me. Give me a break. The fuck is that? We're just going to run the clock out. They have timeouts. They might call them. They might not. Yeah, they're not going to. And this will be the last play of the game. We could take a knee. We're going to give Marcus Wiley another carry, though. And uh, really wasn't trying to do too much with it. That's going to be the game. Running game could never really get going here. I mean, they've got a pretty good defensive line. Olivier Vernon, Damon Harrison, of course. Uh, JPP was pretty good. But overall, decent performance from the boys. Too many interceptions from Joey Lockler, too. 
It was just too many. They were dumb decisions. And then rushing. Joey Cummings averaged 53 yards per carry. <laughs> and then no broken tackles, really. Uh, we, had, we had one for you know each of these guys. Walter had a good game. We passed a lot. We are on defense a lot. Touchdown for Dante Buchanan. Touchdown for uh, Sanchez Heaney. And then defensively. Defense played really well. Offensive line could use some work, but we have Solomon Thomas, Dawson Henderson, two sacks. DeForest Buckner with a sack. Interceptions. Trey Prelo. Ruben Foster, both with an interception. And pick six for, uh, for Dre Prelo and a forced fumble for Solomon Thomas. So we advanced to eight and five. And now, not now, but next episode, we are going to be playing the eight and five Seattle Seahawks. Essentially, I believe, for the division. Two games remain in the season after this. Dolphins and Cowboys. Not really too worried about those teams. But this game, we're at home. We're going to need to win this. If we win it, we've clinched a playoff berth almost certainly. Almost certainly. So, it's a big game. But that's going to be for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. This shit don't run well.